good morning guys welcome back to my channel thank you all so much for being here today's video is going to be a little bit different i'm kind of doing like a vlog style i think that's how you call it um, i'm still doing a voiceover but i'm going to do a little bit of talking into the camera so hopefully you guys enjoy that if you do please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so all right so here's everything that i got it's a really small haul because honestly i just needed this my son is sick again, so I was trying to keep him hydrated. I am obsessed with iced coffee right now. Um, I don't know if because summer is coming, but honestly, I think it's because of this. I have just discovered cold foam, and uh, I can't get enough of it. Um, so I needed some more iced coffee. I grabbed some of the cold foam and some of my favorite creamer. Um, I grabbed Fanta for the kids. I think it's disgusting. That's just me, but they love it. And also I got this lactose free milk for my daughter. She's been complaining a lot about her stomach and her doctor suggested maybe cutting back on dairy. So I don't know, I just wanted to give that, a, that one a try. Some Flaming Hot Doritos for my son, some Sugar Chat Peas, and that was it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this away and then start cleaning the kitchen. quickly wanted to show you guys how I do my iced coffee. You just get a regular cup. This one is from Walmart, I believe. I fill it up with ice and this is pretty much everything that I add to it. I add the, obviously the iced coffee and two of my favorite creamers. Um, I don't go in straight with this one because I feel like it's too sweet. So that's why I use half and half to kind of like balance it out. And then when I add this, it makes it even sweeter. So I try not to add too much of this. But yeah, let's just go ahead and make my iced coffee because it is 8.30 and this mama needs it. We used to be the team, we will talk about what a chemistry. I can see it in your eyes. You don't want to talk anymore. I want to get so numb, want to get so numb while we enemies. pretty much done putting away the dishes i did have a sink full of dirty ones but luckily my husband um, washed them for me later that day i am just going to go ahead and move on to the other side of the kitchen i'm putting away my husband's lunch box and just getting things tidied up Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on then We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break All right, so I am just going to clear off this little area here and then wipe it down. Then we're going to go ahead and move on over to my living room, which I wanted to mention that we are planning on getting new furniture. I don't know if we're going to do it this year or next year. God willing, we'll do it soon. Uh, my husband really wants a dining table. And I know what you guys are thinking. My living room is way too small. Where am I going to put a dining table? Trust me, that's exactly what I told him. But he also suggested that we get a new sectional. The one that we have now is huge. So he figured 
you know, we get a new sectional, we get like a smaller sectional and then somehow make the dining room table fit. I don't know how. I haven't really thought about it, but anything that gets me new furniture, I'm all for it. But anyways, we are in my living room. As you can see, I am trying to clean it up and I don't know why I did this to myself. I normally clean the living room when my son is asleep, um, but clearly I wanted to make my life difficult today. Um, I started cleaning it and you'll see later that my son just destroyed it again. So yeah, that's mom life, I guess. Those bags that are on the floor are clothes that no longer fit my kids. So I'm going to go ahead and donate them. But they've been in my living room for a couple of days now. So I'm going to put them next to the door. And hopefully my husband gets the hint and puts them in the garage. Also, for Christmas, we got a new TV. And it was really bothering me that the TV and the cabinet underneath it were the exact same size. So I finally got a different cabinet. Well, it's supposed to be the same as the bigger version that I have. But as you can see, it doesn't match. So this is how it all looks. As you can see, they don't match. It's driving me crazy, but I refuse to send it back because... That would mean I would have to take it all apart and put it back in the box. And it took me an hour to put it together. So I'm just going to make it work. I'm going to see if I can try to stain this little section here. Try and get it to somewhat match. Hopefully that will help make it look a little bit better. And on top of that, the legs don't match ignore all the little toys there um but yeah so i don't know i'm not gonna take it back like i said i have it now i don't care i'm gonna make it work i love the way it looks and i think once i stain that little part there it's gonna look even better so i'm crossing my fingers hopefully it all comes together nicely moving on over to my bathroom I just quickly wanted to put up this new shower curtain that I got from Target and I also wanted to decorate a little shelf that I put up there. I know it's kind of random, but I just wanted to share it with you guys. I used to think I had plenty of dreams and light in my life. So my glass was half empty. So my son's over there living his best life, making a mess after mommy already cleaned it. Must be nice. But that is going to do it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I will talk to you all in the next video. God willing. Bye. Happy.